Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author, but in these videos I'm not making puzzles, I'm solving them along with Laura. Hello! And in this time I'm really excited because I've come across these three new Cluedo escape room games, at least they're new to me. I think they're fairly new out. And they're not just traditional board games, they are puzzle escape rooms. Love that. I love a bit of Cluedo as well, uh, it's my ideal board yeah, game. I'm too. so into it. I used to, as a kid, I used to play it very religiously until the point where we started playing, ooh, ooh. until the point where we started playing with loads and loads and loads of notes. We would start cross-referencing everything and making every possible deduction you can make. Oh, wow. And then the game became a bit more serious. Hardcore. And it's still a lot of luck and it was less interesting because eventually... Um, you just take forever working out. I, wait, I haven't worked out all my deductions yet, and my dad was really slow at it. We get really annoyed waiting for him to have his go. Brutal. We mm. should say we're not solving this right now. We're, we're going to have a look at the tutorial yes, for these boxes. There's a tutorial in here, so we'll do the, the tutorial. I think I've had a quick look at this first to make sure that it was sensible to do a video on this. But I haven't gone through everything or opened everything. But there is a tutorial, and I believe it's quite quick to solve relative so to So we're going to have a go at that. And it works as the first chapter of the game, so we'll come back on another video and do the rest of the game, we'll I solve hope. the whole thing in record right. time, I'm sure. So in the box, what do you get? You get some little Cluedo okay. figures. Love that. <laughs> there are six of them, I think, just like in traditional Cluedo. No, five. No, no, I can't count. Six. Uh, they've got different names in different countries, I think. But yeah, this they is do, Professor actually. Plum. Or maybe a new version, there's a new version of Cluedo with different names Colonel as well. Mustard. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, well, and then there's a lock safe, which it looks like I've opened, but I haven't. It's still sealed on this side. That's it true. just came like that. And it's then not fibbing. Bunches of cards, um, presumably space in the box, for, uh, symbols in a similar box for other games, which take more box, but there's a character deck. And these give you the six characters and their little profiles that match here. Because I think. Each game involves you solving a mystery to work out who done it with what and so on, just like a traditional Cluedo, but so by solving good. games. Then there's a tutorial deck. Oh, nice. Um, and then there is a deck. Deck one. Deck one. Deck two. Named. And I'm going to guess. This is deck three. Deck, we're guessing going out on a limb. Hey, deck, deck three. Deck three, right. Stunning. Now, so we're just going to go with the tutorial deck today. Yes. So what we need to do is it says you choose your most dramatic player to read the low text out loud. It's Gareth. Once again, the mysterious Mr. Black has brought you together for a shadowy purpose. Mm. Each of you possesses certain qualities and skills that together make you the perfect team for a classic heist. I've always said that we'd be the perfect team for a classic heist. Do you know what? It would be quite scary if we came up with like something. Anyway, never mind. Let's not put, <laughs> not put this on video in case something goes missing tomorrow. You yeah, know. that would look bad. The job. Break into the Cerulean Museum of Art and Natural History. Steal six outrageously valuable exhibits and get out with Without tipping off security. You're not all world-class thieves, but the possible payout is too good to pass up. But as soon as you crack the code on the front doors and get safely inside, the entrance slams <gasps> shut behind you and the entire museum locks down. The only way that could have happened is if there is a traitor among you. So I was wrong, you're not finding out the murder was, you're finding out which one of you has betrayed the rest of you. Okay, fine. It's time to play. Do not remove any of the components until told okay. to do so. And then under here, there is a book which has some very brief instructions and some slightly more detailed ones you can follow if you want you know to clarify anything and then there are bunches and bunches of bits of board and envelopes and stuff as well wow. and quite a lot there and look sold and there's a stuff under there i assume i've not peeked under there we're not meant to look at that so we start with this book okay and i've read this before although i did read it a couple of weeks ago so <laughs> so i should have read it again just before we started yeah. recording but basically the youngest player goes first. You take it in turns to move pieces, but we don't need to bother with that, that bit. We can just do what we want to do. Okay. And you draw a card from the tutorial deck that has the number or matching something that you move to. So you have a room. We start with room A, I think, and then you can move your piece to a bit area of it that's marked with a three, and you take card three and it tells you about it. Okay. And there are two, there are two types of cards, a narrative card and puzzle cards that are labelled. This will become clear, I think. Every puzzle has a number. It's all quite nicely labelled. And then you take it in turns to have a go but we don't need to do that. But that's just a mechanism for making it play a bit more like a traditional Cluedo or maybe a bit more... In a sort of board game Yeah, in a board game way. Right. right, then the rest of the book is um, clarifications of stuff, which you don't necessarily need to read according to the introduction. Uh, and then as you're playing, you build up... This is um, hints and solutions, I'll, I'll cover that. You build up this <laughs> map, which it shows you at the start. And you have to decide at the end. Those hints and solutions that hide that. I just spotted that that house has a planetarium, and now I want a planetarium very much. <laughs> but anyway, it says start with board A, which is right. Okay. That first grand entrance, I believe. Uh, Not that one. The vaults, the restoration lab. 
restoration. There you go, look, Plantarium. Grand entrance. There you go, grand entrance. So we start here in the grand entrance. So do we each choose... So you've done this tutorial before. I did it once. So we each choosing a colour? Yes. You've chosen the colour, I was going to choose. Oh, choose fine. No, I would fine. be no, red. I want to be yellow now. No, but now I want to be purple. Well, how do you be purple then? That's fine. Right, so we start by opening the character deck. Let's do it's this. It's good that we don't play... No, it said we don't. Didn't it? No, you start by opening the character deck. Okay. You do. Yeah. It's good that we don't what? Good that we don't play board games. <laughs> it's that we fight over the colour. It's good that we play collaborative games. There's Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet. Prof Plum. Dr Orchid. Dr Orchid. Mrs Peacock. The Rev Green. Rev Green. And Colonel Mustard. I'm Colonel Mustard. And each has got a profile on the Love back. That. So it tells you the th useful things like, maybe this is relevant mm. to solving the puzzle, but their eye colour, their shoe size, their fingerprint, mm -hmm. it tells you he's a soldier. He's a safe cracker. I don't think we need this information for the tutorial. It might I be relevant later. I feel like this has later. been really jazzed up since I last solved Cluedo in the yeah. 90s. And then actually. the tutorial deck here. Discard, discard. discard, discard. I don't mind right. If we do. So you can be are you the youngest. Uh, yes, I think I might be. <laughs> and then you can start by moving Not your by piece. By decade. You can start by moving your piece. To where? Anywhere. Whatever you want, yeah. Whatever you want to investigate. Ouch, just bit my mug. Okay? Whatever you want to investigate. Whatever I want to investigate. I want to I want to investigate the dinosaur bones, but do I have to move them to a place? Yes. Let's go, um there we go. Number four. I'm such a wally. I said someone's got a planetarium in their house, but we're in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ooh, when the alarm went off, a solid steel security door slid across the front entrance and locked you in. You'll have to find a way to open this before you can ex escape with the stolen exhibits later. And then let me discard the card. Get rid of that. Right, my go. Okay. I'm going to go over so to I the went to a total dead end first. desk here okay. and take card two. Love that. The front desk is made of highly polished wood, well worn by the hands of museum visitors over the years. Oh. You slip behind it and do a quick search for anything that could help open the doors. In the top drawer you find, take card, take card five, five, discard this. Take card five, don't mind if we do. Okay, I like this. The prehistoric fossil exhibit showcases many different types of bones. Can you find them all? Skull, claw, ribs, and femur. And then at the bottom, it has some really oh, small it's really text. Small, isn't it? Can we even read this? This is a puzzle card. The answers to puzzles are always a number. Puzzles often require multiple pieces, and you will need all of them to solve. Keep this card face up on the table when you look for other pieces. So it says we need two puzzle pieces plus some other information, I think is what question marks to solve. And this is card B2. So I think it will tell you implicitly which cards go together okay. by the letters on them. It's my in in inference. I haven't solved the whole game. So, so we knows. need two puzzle pieces. So it's now your go. Oh. So well, this is one puzzle piece. We need B1. Okay. And then some inf other information. So we, ha we, so we can't solve that yet? No. So do we take... Should I move? I would. Do I make I a move? Mean, I would. To Number three. three then. Is that our only option there? That is our only option. Okay. All right. So we've got another card here. There's a security panel beside the door, but you'll need some sort of tool to get past it since Ooh. you don't have a code or login. Professor Plum steps forward holding an odd gadget. I believe this is where I come in, he says, and it says take cards seven and eight and we can get rid of this. Thank you very much. Those are seven and eight and I'll give you that. Okay. Here's card seven. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a widget Hakuza. Right. <laughs> okay, this is fun, whatever this is Just down don't here. ask me to say the same name again. No. A widget Hakuza. <laughs> okay, and then we've got something else. I'm zooming on that again. It's minuscule, isn't this it? is a puzzle card. The answers to puzzles are always a number. Puzzles often require multiple pieces and you will need all of them to solve. Keep this card face up on the table while you look for other pieces. You need one puzzle piece plus some information to solve, something else to solve. So we have the puzzle piece, and what have we else have we got to solve it? Do you think it's this? I think so. I think they go together, don't you? Look, there's a key. Yeah, they do go together. And if we put these on top of here... Because does that look like it will fit under the picture? Is that, I think it does go together. I think, I think we're, this yeah. is a, lot, a safe cracking machine, we're plugging into it. So if we... So we've got one, two and three here. Yes. So are the numbers that we want zero, one and two, which yeah. would give us... Twelve, right? Oh, okay. I was Don't going to say think? three. I was going to add them together, but yeah, we've already taken three anyway. We've already taken anyway. card three. Okay, interesting. So, Solved. Hack, Love that. Hacked panel. Professor Plummer's hacking tool words to life and successfully logs you into the panel. Unfortunately, it didn't open the courtyard door. Ew. Courtyard door. 
You'll have to find a password some other way. Discard A1. Do not discard, discard the, the hacking, hacking tool. tool. You will need it for the rest of the game and take card six. Okay. So let's get rid of that. I am enjoying this. Take card six. Let's just zoom out again. You yeah. have card six. Thank you very much. Keep the hacking tool here. But we can get rid of... We can get rid of the, the panel we've already opened. The panel, right. okay. So let's have a look at card six. Ooh. Yeah, go on then. Okay, so this is... I'm noting immediately this is B1 and we've got a B2 in oh, here. Right, so okay. it says... Password, hint, number of femurs. So I'm guessing we're looking for these in this area. Oh, right. So how many femurs are there Yeah. Then? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If they're all femurs. And they look like they are. Presumably yes. they don't all belong we just to the same these, didn't dinosaur. We? Ten. Yeah. So 10 One, femurs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I get So ten. you would think we take card 10, right? You would. I, I would. I see it peeking out here. So your go has gone on for ages, and I'm not not jealous at all. But go on. Oh, I would. Th I this is still your go. You moved your yellow one. Hey? Oh, I thought we were sort of playing collaboratively. I think we are really hard. Well, we? I am, Gary. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, birds. Solve dinosaur security. You enter the password, and hear the lock in the courtyard door clunk open. You're in. Time to get to business and track down the target exhibits. Discard puzzle cards B1 and B2, and take card 11. Not and then discard this. Still your go, Laura. Still my go. Lucky me. Oh, so much text. Do you want to read it? As you open the courtyard <laughs> door, you notice a paper stuck in the door. It's a tall museum pamphlet with notes about the exhibits. Wait, this looks like a copy of the notes Mr Black gave you about which exhibits to steal and how to do it. Ooh. Does this mean one of you snuck in ahead of time and stole something without the group? And if so, they must have replaced it with a fake. Who is the traitor in your ranks? I have to say, it's quite a lot of inferences there. there Open are. packet A. Oh, that was the packet I had at the start here. Okay. And next player, read card 14. So wow. here's packet A. And we discard that, and then we get card 14. Right, so let's reopen packet A first. Yeah. Oh. Is this going to spoil things for us? No, I think it just leads the you on. Cerulean. To... What Cerulean or Cerulean, yes. Well, how, do you, how do you pronounce it? Cerulean. I don't, I don't know. It must be cerulean. Cerulean. How do you say cerulean? it? Cerulean. I, I, I normally I don't use that word. Okay. <laughs> so it's a thing like about the museum. It's got some some codes and stuff. Right. Okay. Next player reads this. The game just changed. Now you'll have to solve. Who amongst you is the traitor? Who? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What did they steal and replace with the counterfeit replica? What? Where did they stash it in the museum? Where? <laughs> Time is of the essence. You still have to steal the exhibits and escape before security arrives. Look for clue cards to help you solve the final mystery at the end. Place boards B1 and B2. Look in the rules booklet for a diagram of how to place the boards. Add deck one to the bottom of your... Right, so to carry on playing, which we're not going to do in this video, we would then carry on with the next deck of cards and we would add some more rooms into the into the adventure and therefore we would start expanding where we we're able to move and maybe we have to come back and forth and stuff i have no idea because i've never tried it wow. but we will try it in a future video so there we go that is cluedo robbery at the museum and there are three of these games available at the moment as i re we record this video at least in britain um with different themes one's on submarine or something i think was at sea or some such i don't know they're on the shelves but they're there i'm pointing at the screen they're on there the shelves are. behind me <laughs> i can't read the title there. somewhere yeah there that's actually really hard i bought them on amazon <laughs> i know i found it really confusing to point in the correct there point in the correct place Wrong way. here's laura okay that's easy to actually there, there. i am yeah. i actually think that was a really accessible tutorial and mm. immediately now i want to play the rest of the game this is quite clever because it's a sort of low stakes way of going this is how you play the game without anybody worrying about getting anything wrong and now I want to play the rest of the game. Yeah, so those puzzles were quite easy, but it's a tutorial, right? And that's yeah. fine. I mean, I don't know how hard they get in the rest of the game, but I mean, it's clearly designed to be played by families, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll, we can do a full analysis or review once we've played the full theme, which we'll do in a future video. Maybe Yay. if it's then built down into those three decks, maybe we can do them in little episodes where we yeah. solve sort of one more section of the museum and then add a bit more on next time. I don't know if that will work. We can give it a go Depends anyway. how efficient we are, probably. Yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to solving that yeah, at some same. point in the future. Yeah, love the idea of well, that. Well, if you'd like to see us do that when we do it, do please subscribe to the channel. Somewhere down here, there should be a button if you're on the YouTube website or app. You can click there and it will make it easier to find our future videos. And down below in the description, there are links to some of the videos we've done already. Mm -hmm. And also right at the end, there should be some pop-up, or at least a pop-up that has links to some of our other videos too. Surprise! <laughs> but I guess all that remains for this video then is for me to say goodbye. Bye. And for me to say goodbye. Bye. Bye.